It's Friday, September the 25th, 2015. This is Wes Fryer, and in this quick technology tip screencast, I would like to talk about two Google Chrome extensions that will literally change your life. And I am not exaggerating. If you find yourself, as many of us do, using the web a lot and using the Google Chrome web browser, which I've found to be the fastest browser available, I like it even better than Firefox or Safari at this point, Tab Suspender and an ad blocker called UOrigin um, will really transform things that you're doing. So let's first talk about what these are and what they're going to do. First off, if you have ever seen this screen with you know too many tabs, uh, when you have a lot of tabs open in your browser, they all take memory and Google Chrome can become unresponsive and it can you know be slow. Your whole machine can can slow down and you know this is a problem and so this first extension that I'm going to talk about will address and solve that problem. The other thing that is often a problem are advertisements and especially on YouTube it is really a pain when you are going to show a video in class to students to have a pre-roll video come up or you know other kinds of advertising. So those are the two problems we're going to address today. Let's first talk about tab suspender. I wanted to give a shout out to Ben Wilkoff, who is an educator in Denver, Colorado, and at the Colorado uh, Google Academy that they hosted in June in Keystone. This was one of several tips that he gave in his session, and I have created a shortened web address that will jump right to this. You can go to the Google Chrome Web Store, type in Tab Suspender, and find this, or you can simply go to wfriar.me slash tab, and that will take you right to this extension. And so you're going to click Add to Chrome, and when you do, you are going to find that automatically if you haven't used a tab in a while it will become suspended and you'll see this blue circle around it and that's going to be you know be basically taking the, the the memory utilization away and when you go back to that tab you simply click again on the blue circle and it will refresh itself and then become usable but this happens automatically you don't have to do any th configuration at all besides add this to your Google Chrome account that you're logged into so that is tab suspender and it is awesome second thing I want to talk about quickly is ad blocking. There have been a number of articles like this one from Fortune on September 23rd, 2015 that ad blocking is going to cost the marketing industry a lot and the reason this is happening or these articles really are happening now is because the new version of the iOS operating system for iPhone and iPad is including the option to install ad blockers. There, It's not built in, you have to go install those apps but ad blockers have been around for a while except now that they can be available on the iPhone there's folks that are that are in panic mode well if you search on the Google Chrome web store for ad block you're gonna find a lot of choices and whenever you search for these you know anything that you're gonna be installing you, you always wanna be careful you wanna get it from a reputable source um, and one way to, to kinda of look at that is if you can consider how many folks have installed it and how many stars it has in this clip in this case the ad block from getadblock.com has 154,000 users and it has four and a half stars and you know lots of people use it I have used several of these um, however those aren't the ones that I'm gonna recommend to you today the one I'm gonna recommend also comes I'm pretty sure from Ben Wilkoff and it's called uBlock Origin and this one will be a little bit harder to find perhaps but if you just use the shortened web address wfriar.me slash you block that will forward you right to it and again it's free and you can add this to Chrome and what this is going to do is it's gonna block all those ads and the reason why this one I think is better than some other ones has again to do with memory it is more efficient it's easier on the processor in your computer and I've been using this for several months you know since June and it has worked great so say goodbye to advertisements on YouTube and in other places if you need to disable that you can in fact I'll move my browser window down and you can see I've got uh, this um, uBlock running and so if I wanted to suspend it on the web page that I'm on I can just click that and disable it but you can see on this page you know there's five different things that it's blocked and so you can just leave that running and then if you need to enable it you can but it's awesome 
So if you'd like to learn about some more Google Chrome extensions, I wrote a blog post over on my personal blog in June after I was back from that conference, and it's called Seven Indispensable Google Chrome Extensions, and you can find that on my blog, which is speedofcreativity.org. So if you'd like to find more tips, more videos like this, we are placing those on our support website for Cassidy School, which you'll find at support.cassidy.org. Have a great day and good luck suspending tabs and blocking ads as you make your web browsing experience hopefully more efficient and faster.